24 days after my aortic aneurysm surgery. Hi there, it's been over 24 days after my aortic aneurysm surgery and I'm recovering better now that I'm on blood thinners. Um, my chest obviously still has the, the gnarly, gnarly uh, zipper. That's not gonna go away. But I've been feeling better. I've been going on my walks daily. I've been listening to what the doctor suggested. I've been having nurses come by once, if not twice a week to do blood work, uh, check out vital signs. And um, these are all big, big things. You wanna make sure you, know, you follow a healthy, good diet, listen to your doctor. If you have any questions, obviously, you know, uh, contact your vice nurse, your doctors. And if there's emergencies, you know, definitely uh, take that trip to the ER. Um, as you guys know, I have when I had my pulmonary embolism and that's when they put me on blood thinners. So uh, today I wanna to talk about, you know, uh, people that are exposed to things out there um, in their jobs. So people have different jobs. If it's UPS, FedEx, fire, police, uh, other jobs that deal with, you know, uh, chemicals and, and toxic fumes, you know, mechanics, painters, you name it. There's a lot of them. People that work at waste treatment plants, you know, um, sanitation engineers. But what I'm getting at is my aneurysm was caused somehow or another. And when you find out you have some serious condition that potentially could be related to a job or anything that would tie it to what you do for a living, you know, you need to make sure you lawyer up. So you get a lawyer that could protect you. So, um, as I did when I first found out about my aneurysm, obviously I was scared uh, shitless. I was concerned, nervous, frightened. I made a trust. I made videos and, you know, like all these things and made sure my family was protected financially. But one of the biggest things I did too is I wanted to get a lawyer that would be the appropriate lawyer that could defend me in a case that potentially could be related to uh, workforce. So people out there in the jobs that like we're in, service jobs and jobs that have potential risks, that I recommend that you guys protect yourself as best as you can and lawyer up, get a lawyer. Uh, make sure you get the right medical treatment and staff. That's very important. But you know, the things that, that I've done, I felt was appropriate. People that are in these situations, I've known many people in different stories that don't follow through and protect themselves. And they put themselves at a very dangerous position, you know? So in doing, doing so what I did, I felt that was the best uh, course of action. Now, like I said, this has been 23 days, uh, but I've been battling, you know, uh, the other side, which is my lawyer has been defending me on trying to make this a presumptive. Um, and I'm fairly certain that that is gonna be a, uh, it's gonna work and it's gonna, it's gonna happen. But you know, the thing is, as you being your best advocate, protect yourself. And that goes for many different avenues, but protect yourself, you know, obviously health, wellness, physical, mental. Um, these 23 days after surgery, it, it's been difficult. Uh, a lot of days are like Groundhog Day, where it's the same day every day, um, but that's part of the healing process. You have to, for this type of surgery, you have to uh, minimally, you know, uh, limit yourself to walking and doing cardio and eating healthy but like try not to overdo things. Um, I've been, you know, I'm a very active individual naturally and it's hard to be, you know, at a point where 
I have to be a little bit on, not stagnant, but a little bit on, you know, a, a side of where, you know, I have to, I have to slow down. Um, I'm coming to the, the sense that this is all part of that healing process. Because if you push yourself too hard, you might end up going back to the hospital, which you don't want to do. So here I am today coming to you guys, telling you guys, you know, continue being your best advocate. Um, make sure that I, I think I might have said this in the very beginning, but make sure, you know, in my first video, but like you have to protect yourself. Fire, police, service jobs, other jobs dealing with other things out there. You know, lawyer up in, and understand that, you know, this is a bigger problem than just what you could deal with individually. And, you know, and it could be a cost bigger to you than just the health aspect. It could be um, detrimental to your family in other ways. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, keep following me. If you have comments below, you know, write them. Uh, I am here for you guys, but you guys need to be there for yourselves and be your best advocate because that's what this channel is about. That's what my journey is about. So thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon and uh, keep strong and live on. Uh, we'll all get through this together.